What's up everyone, my name is Liam, the soccer coach, and welcome back to another video. I hope you're all keeping healthy and safe during lockdown and hopefully you're still engaging with soccer just like I am and using these videos to the most advantage and so we're making the most of the time that we are given and we're still having fun. As you can see here, I decided to come outside to my brother Callum today as they decided to finally cut the grass outside so we thought we'd make the most of the opportunity of the good surface to have a little bit of a dribbling session for today. So if you have any clips of you completing any of my activities I'm posting on this page, make sure to go and follow my Instagram at Liam the Soccer Coach and let me know how you're getting on with these activities if they're allowing you to still have fun and engage with soccer just as you would before lockdown. So for today's activity you're only going to need two pieces of equipment. You're going to firstly need six cones. If you haven't got any cones that's okay you can easily replace this with different household items that won't break easily and you will also need one ball. The ball is going to be used for our session as we're going to be focusing on dribbling for today. So for our warm up we are simply going to start by doing two jogging lengths between the two furthest cones and once we have completed two jogging lengths to start with we are then going to grab our ball and then going to complete two lengths of dribbling and we are going to repeat this whole stage twice so with two jogging lengths repeated again followed then by two lengths of dribbling so two lengths of jogging followed by two lengths of dribbling and repeated with another two lengths each then we'll have eight full lengths forward out the ball and four with the ball so we're both getting ourselves warmed up and getting used to using the ball So today's activity called speed and control is going to focus on our ability to keep the ball close to our feet whilst traveling at a high speed. As you can see here through my practice run, I'm dribbling towards the red cones and keeping the ball close whilst dribbling in and out and making it to the far green cone. Once you have completed one length, that will count as one. And once I complete another length coming back to the closest cone to the camera, that will mean two. And after my practice run, I'm going to test how many lengths I can do in 60 seconds. So here is my run. We're going to see how many times I can complete this little dribbling section in 60 seconds. As you can see here with my attempt, I'm trying my best to keep the ball as close to my feet as possible whilst travelling as quickly as possible at the same time. This makes it a lot more difficult to keep the ball under control as you can see here as I fail a 1-1 attempt. I try and keep the ball as close while travelling at speed but sometimes the ball can get away from you too quickly so I would always recommend that you try and keep the ball and focus on taking the touches first before travelling at speed through your practice runs because then you'll get used to the dribbling before then travelling at speed because it becomes a lot harder as you can see here taking those little small touches to navigate between the cones whilst trying to travel as fast as possible but my attempt is going well so far i'm on eight dribbling lengths and i'm still trying to keep the ball as close as possible as i get more tired towards the end you can see i start to travel a little bit slower but i'm still in the full concentration of making sure that i'm taking those vital touches so that the ball does not go off path but as i get past my 11th length the ball does manage to get away from me So after my attempt at the speed of control challenge, I'm going to go through a very, very quick and simple warm down of completing two long lengths of lunges. The longer distance between the cones we're using for activity means we're able to get more lunges in. And it's a really simple and quick warm down just so we're not sitting down straight away. And we can at least say we've stretched our muscles after we've completed our activity. So thank you for watching this video. I know it was a lot shorter than usual, but with us not being allowed to be outside for too long and getting our exercise in as quickly as possible whilst outside once a day, I thought I would film this quick video so you could still get an activity in and we'll still try to have as much fun as possible. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like, make sure you share it with your friends and also share my Instagram page and tag me in your clips at Liam the Soccer Coach. But for now, I will see you all next time.